Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This is a you and them love reading, so I'm going to be looking at how you feel about each other and what is the potential outcome. So I'm going to get right into it. This is a general reading, so as always, it will not resonate with everyone watching, and that's okay. Check out my other readings for Sagittarius if this doesn't resonate at all. What messages do you have spent for Sagittarius regarding love? This will be for those of you who already have some sort of a connection or some way in mind for Sagittarius. Sagittarius is bringing to this connection. Okay, bringing to this connection. Passion. Okay, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. What about your person? Spirit, tell me about the person of Sagittarius is in a connection with. What are their thoughts or feelings? Oh, that one just flew out. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So, literally a past life connection or someone that you already know. That maybe was already um, a connection that you had in the past. What are the mutual energies? What's going on in this connection? Soulmate. Wow, this is your soulmate. So very strong connection. One that you feel, I guess, very passionate about. Sagittarius, bottom of the deck, true love. Love it. Okay. So let's see what else we can get. I'm going to be using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is my own deck that I made. It is a digital deck, so you can print it out at home. It's available in my shop if you're curious on um, checking it out. I love this deck. I'm thinking about making it a physical deck. We'll see. All right, Spirit for Sagittarius. Tell me more about Sagittarius and their thoughts or feelings in this connection. Hidden motives, deception, hiding, cheating. Someone's hiding their true motives. So it could be that you have not been completely honest with them about how you feel sorry about the noises in the background my dogs um or perhaps you feel like they're not telling you something and you're suspicious can i get one more please for sagittarius can you guys can you guys take it somewhere else there are literally like five other rooms in this house for you to hang out at Deep regret, remorse, guilt, responsibility. There is regret over the past. Interesting. I wonder if, you, if you've told this person that you are still thinking about the past. Now, Sagittarius, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. The energies can be vice versa. So let's get some more information. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is in a connection with. What are their energies? Budding romance, new love, romance, courtship, romance is in the air. So this person still has feelings for you. Bottom of the deck, I have broken silence, um, communication, truth, emotions, suppressed feelings must be expressed, be vulnerable. So maybe this person's ready to tell you how they feel. Tell me about the mutual energies here about the mutual energies for Sagittarius, please. Looking inward, introspection, isolation, thinking. You're deep in thought, looking inward and seeking answers. So I feel like there's something that you want to know. Before, uh, either regarding this person or this connection, there's something that I feel you still don't know. I'm, I'm just picking up that you might be suspicious about something or have doubts about something regarding this person or this connection. So we'll see, let's look at the tarot. I'm gonna use this deck. Now keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single person watching. If it's not your reading, don't try to make it fit. It just wasn't your reading this time around and that's okay. Feel free to check out my other readings or other placements in your birth chart if they are more prominent. Messages for Sagittarius spirit regarding love. Tell me about Sagittarius and the energies they're bringing to this connection. 
Now Sagittarius, once again, I have you on this side, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. It's just to avoid confusion, this is you for me. Three of coin reverse. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Two of coin. Are you wondering if this person's juggling you, if there's someone else? Tell me more for Sagittarius. King of Wands reverse. You don't trust this person. Maybe you don't trust their intentions, their motives here. Perhaps you're wondering if they would actually put in effort, if they would give you what you need, if they would work on this connection with you, or if they would just be someone that you couldn't count on here. King of Wands reverse is someone you can't really count on. I have the Eight of Coin at the bottom here with the Four of Wands reverse. So I feel like there's work that needs to be done in order to bring this connection back into balance. And it's almost like you're wondering if this is it, if this is the person for you, if they are serious about working on this, what are they gonna decide? Something like that. I feel like in your mind, you picture this person going back and forth. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is in a connection with spirit. The Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. Six of Swords Reverse. Well, it could be that they could want to come back here. Return to you. We'll see. What else can you tell me about this person? Wow, we got the Queen of Wands on their end. I feel like they see you as someone very uh, attractive, charismatic, passionate. What's this? The Magician Reverse. They want something and they haven't been able to manifest it. What's at the bottom? Nine of Coin Reverse. This is someone that's not free, yeah. Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy. I feel like this person needs to be free, independent of something. Let's see. What is going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies here? Five of Cups Reversed. Ten of Swords Reversed. So there has been some sort of ending here. Some sort of cycle that came to a close. I feel like someone wants to regain that though, recover what was lost with the Five of Cups reverse. Can I get one more please? It's almost like they're thinking about how to do this or someone needs more information in order to move forward, something like that. The Hangman. So this is somebody that has done a lot of thinking. Seeing things in a different perspective, seeing things in a different from a different angle. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. So this could be that they're thinking about whatever caused pain, whatever conflict there was. Got the chariot right after that. Hmm. This is about moving forward, but I feel like you can't move forward until the pain is dealt with. Whatever pain this is here. Okay, I want to use a different deck. I'm going to use this deck here to clarify these. I don't know why I'm so into using different decks, but we're rolling with it. Give me some more information for Sagittarius, please. Now, if this is resonating for you so far, let me know in the comments how it's resonating for you. I love to read the comments. I can't respond to them all, but... I like hearing from you guys. It feels like I'm not just talking to an empty room. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Clarity, please. Show me what I need to see. All right. Let's start with this three of coin reverse. What is going on? Tell me about this three of coin reverse. Queen of swords reverse. Yikes. Communication is probably not good with this person, either now or in the past. Someone could be really upset still about what happened. Not really ready to communicate yet. Knight of Swords Reverse. There could have been like deception here as well with the Knight of Swords Reverse. I feel like some of you possibly 
either you were really upset that someone had had a third party interference or someone had someone else or stepped outside of this connection or someone lied about an interference possibly here. Three of coin reverse, that could definitely be an interference. The other meaning is that something's not working. They're not working together, not getting along. Tell me about the three of coin reverse. Someone's not putting in equal effort. Can I get one more please for the three of coin reverse? King of Wands reverse, again. King of Wands reverse, they don't think of the consequences of their actions. The lovers reverse at the bottom. I feel like, yeah, this King of Wands caused a separation of some sort. Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like, yeah, it's almost like they want to bring another offer here. Maybe they made the wrong choice in partner and are wanting to come back and make you an offer. Yeah, Six of Cups. An offer to the past. Tell me about the Two of Coin. And I feel like you don't trust them or you don't believe everything they're telling you. You might feel like they have hidden motives. Tell me about the Two of Coin. Why is the Two of Coin here? Queen of Wands upright. Again, Queen of Wands is upright. King of Wands is reverse. I don't believe in coincidences. I feel like you, you are doing very well. I feel like you know what you want. You're just wondering if this other person knows what they're doing. Can I get one more for the two of coin? Could also be evaluating. Oh, we got the higher font here. Taurus energy. You could also be evaluating um, if you want to move towards this. I wonder if you think this person is in a commitment. Four of Pentacles, reverse the Fool. Yeah, in order to have some sort of new beginning, this needs to be let go of, and I think it could be a commitment. If it's not a commitment, it's someone needing to open up here in order to have a new beginning with the Fool. See what I'm saying? Um, I feel like this could go both ways. Either you are doubting this, you know, getting back into things with this person, or you're doubting that they are single or available. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse down here. Why is it King of Wands reverse? The Devil reverse. Capricorn energy again. Again, with a, a breaking free of something unhealthy. Can we get one more for the King of Wands reverse? I wonder if you if you if you're thinking like, are you free? Have you overcome whatever addictions, temptations, vices, whatever was keeping you? In an unhealthy situation, have you overcome all of the difficulties? Are you a different person? That's what I'm hearing right now. Tell me about the King of Wands reverse. Eight of Cups, yeah, have you walked away from something? Are you free? Then I have the Two of Cups reversed. So that's what I think this is. It could also be, if this is not something that you're wondering if this person is free or not, you're still having doubts about this person's intentions due to the fact that they walked away from you in the past. Tell me about the Hermit reverse, Virgo energy here. The Star and the Sun, wow. This person has hope, like, you are the wish that they want. Look at these both bright lights. They are clear on what they want here. Absolute clarity. But with the Hermit Reverse, this is someone that, Aquarius energy, by the way, this is someone that possibly um, is very withdrawn, maybe hasn't communicated in a while. 
is still thinking a little bit too much. Maybe they're avoiding a certain conversation, but they're clear on what I feel they want. Now what's with the Six of Swords reverse? Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Let me move this up here. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Two of Cups reverse. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah, they had either because I feel like I'm speaking to two groups of Sagittarius is here or Sagittarians whatever either this person went with someone else and regrets it because they didn't get their wish fulfillment they thought they were gonna get their wish fulfillment but they didn't or they want to return to something where they sep they caused a separation with you and this is a wish that they have not been able to manifest can I get one more for the Six of Swords reverse, please? Oh, I got two. Six of Swords reverse again, and the Two of Pentacles. So it's like they're probably going back and forth about whether to return, or they probably need to choose one of these pentacles. And that's probably why you're over here, like, you need to decide before you come over here. <laughs> that's just, that's just, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, and the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. So someone knows that they need to be free. So what is going on here with this hangman down here? Because I feel like this five of cups reverse is someone that is regretful over the past and wants to recover the past, uh, which the past, I feel there was some sort of disconnect here, some sort of separation possibly with the 10 of swords reverse. Why is the hangman here? Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Let me get one more before I see what I, I'm seeing. Can I get one more, please, Spirit, for the hangman? Get one more. The magician again with the manifesting this is I feel your person here it's almost like they're thinking about how to be free or uh, thinking about what they need to what they need to work on or who they need to be in order for this to work It's going to require some sort of action or manifestation here with the magician. Now, the magician is, you know, it's not just someone that thinks about something. The magician is someone that uses every tool or resource to make something happen. The Three of Pentacles is throwing me off, to be honest. I want to say that this is someone that wants to work on things with you. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? Why is this Three of Pentacles here? The Hermit, Six of Pentacles, Reverse. Yeah, this, this is someone that... Um, the Hermit's upright. A lot of things, once again, with the thinking, planning, seeking answers, and then with the Six of Pentacles reverse, something's off. Something is not balanced. They're not able to give you what you're able to give them, or they're not as open with you as you are with them. There's there's an imbalance here. That's why this Three of Pentacles throwing me off, because I don't think it is about equal effort. I think it's about what is needed. It's like this person's realizing what is needed to manifest this. It's not just like a dream that they're having. They need to actually, you know, put in effort here. Unless they want a tower, okay, tower reverse, emperor's reverse, five of cups reverse. Recovering what was lost, I feel, is gonna cause someone to be upset with the emperor's reversed, whoever this is. 
typically for me when I see the Empress reverse, it's either something's not manifesting, not working out, it's a bad investment, or there's someone else that was left behind or is not dealing well with the situation. It's almost like this person's trying to figure out like, how can I manifest something without causing a tower? Well, good luck with that because typically that's not how it works. So let's get the potential outcome here. So I'm gonna pick a few cards for the potential outcome in this video, and then I'm gonna clarify the outcome further in the extended, and I'm also gonna look at their true intentions and what would they what are they secretly thinking or feeling about you? I'm gonna use my secret moon oracle deck. This isn't available yet, but it will be soon. So let's see. What is the potential outcome? For Sagittarius, please, with this other person in the near future. Potential outcome, please, in the near future. Let's clear this. Potential outcome, please, in the near future for Sagittarius. What is the potential outcome, Spirit, in the near future? Oh, I have another card here. It's a whole different deck. <laughs> Potential outcome, please, for Sagittarius. Oh, oh my gosh. See what I'm saying? Look at this. Beautiful. The tower. Upright. <laughs> I, I, that's why when I, I saw this tower, I was like, good luck with that. Because I don't think it's going to happen the way this person is hoping. I feel like there's going to be opposition. There's going to be resistance here. Someone needs to stand up and fight for what they want with the seven of wands. That takes courage. Potential outcome here for Sagittarius, please. Nine of Swords reverse. Okay, so someone's no longer letting fear or guilt mess with their head. What's this? I'm not going to take it along. Knight of Cups reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. So we have potential here for success, for victory. Someone is motivated, is what I just heard. Okay, someone's motivated for a successful outcome. However, there is a tower happening here. So this is something unexpected, something that is shocking or a revelation of some sort. A very big event is gonna take place that will affect this connection. Maybe it's somebody standing up for what they truly want. Maybe it's somebody, you know, overcoming their fear and speaking up. Maybe it's someone making that decision they need to make because I feel like this is really at the bottom or at the, how do I say this? At the core of this, I feel like someone just needing to make a decision, which is why I have the two of pentacles upright on both of your sides. I have two of pentacles here and two of pentacles right here. So I feel like this is a decision between two, a yes or a no, a past or future type of decision. You know, it's like, can only be one or the other. And I always see this happen in readings where it seems like someone wants to have a decision made without the consequences. And I, that's not real life. That doesn't ever work out. I mean, I can appreciate them trying that, but it's very, very rare because usually these decisions are life changing decisions and someone is going to be affected by it. You know, not everybody's going to be happy with what we do in our lives. You know, not every decision is a clean break, you know, with no consequences, no, no, um, no pain, no difficulty, no sadness. Like it's very rare to make a decision like that. Anyways, so that's what I'm seeing here in the potential outcome Sagittarius. Expect a tower, a necessary tower. Towers are necessary. Um, I feel like someone's going to speak up or stand up for themselves and there's possibly um, victory here. You know, someone's just going to go for it. Leave me a comment if this resonated for you. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. It's a great way to support the channel for free. Thank you to everyone who has already done that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in another video. Take care.